you are getting ready to laugh so hard at what I'm doing. We are gonna have a good old fashioned redneck southern yard sale. Literally. My next door neighbor and I are having a yard sale this weekend. She texted me a couple days ago and she said, I'm having a yard sale. Do you want to have a yard sale with me? I'm like, well, of course I do. If you have never been in the South and been to a true yard sale, you are going to laugh so hard at me when I actually bring you to the yard sale this weekend because I'm sure in your mind you are thinking, flea market, estate sale, fancy, I'm going to have tables and I'm going to have signs and the kids are in the neighborhood are going to have a lemonade stand set up or something. I don't know what you're thinking, but let me tell you, we are going to have a good old fashioned redneck southern yard sale. Literally, I'm going to put stuff in my yard. I don't know what's going to happen, but we are having a yard sale and you're invited. So this morning, I just got in all of my cabinets, like literally, Pollux and I, I got my step stool out and I got in all of my cabinets. This is just stuff, honestly, that I didn't even remember that I had. Wine glasses, stuff that I've just accumulated over the years. I don't even drink wine. But all of this outdoor melamine stuff, salad bowls, pots, party gear. Oh my goodness, when Randy comes home from work, he is gonna die when he sees this kitchen. But just look at all this stuff. And Pollux has had a ball. He's been in the attic with me. You should have seen this attic when I opened the door this morning. I'm gonna show you what it looked like. You could not even step into the threshold because I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spill the beans right here. I'm gonna tell on them. Randy and Brecken are horrible about being done with something and they would come up here they would open the door to the attic, and instead of going inside and putting something in the attic, they would drop it right here at the entrance. Drop it. And so, so much stuff had accumulated, you could not even get in the attic. But I have made a huge dent in the mess. It's just all out in the hall now, and I have my car filled with empty boxes. I don't know why Randy is obsessed with keeping empty boxes. He thinks if we get anything new, we must keep the box for a minimum of five years. Like there's some rule on an empty box. What all we got, bud? <laughs> We've got so much Vera Bradley stuff that the girls had to have and they just discard it. It's just in the attic. Backpacks, more pillows, mounds and mounds and mounds of shoes old purses and bags and I just oh my goodness and then the books so many books Pollux is getting out all the stuffed animals he can find right right buddy he's having a ball with this so I think I've got it sort of organized I've got like Holiday stuff I don't use anymore. Sleds, because I don't have kids. Pool stuff. Oh my gosh. And then here is all of this home decor. Decorative pillows that I just don't use. And greenery and candles and lamps. And I just, I don't even know. Look at all this. Pictures and mirrors. All of this is going. What you got, Pollux? Is it like a little fun little ball? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> he likes playing with Dad. This morning, before I started working in here, you could not even walk in the door. I want to show y'all something. This is an old dresser that used to be, the, both of the girls had it in their bedrooms when they were little, and I let them put stickers all over it. However they wanted to decorate it, I just let, it do, let them do it. And so when they grew up, we put it in the attic and it's still just covered in all of their little sweet stickers. Eeyore and Winnie the Pooh, Aww. This makes me sad every time I open the attic and look at that. Pollux, you got your little friend. 
What is it? Is it a chihuahua? I think he found a chihuahua. And he, y'all, he hasn't torn it up. He's just been carrying it around. Can you show him your chihuahua? Huh, that was Kendall's chihuahua. He's loving it. Oh, the games, the board games. Y'all, I got purses, curling irons. Y'all, these curling irons hadn't been used in 10 years. I do not curl my hair. So tomorrow is the big day, y'all. Woo, it is the day before. I had to work at the ice cream shop all day today. So all morning, I have been bringing stuff down from the attic. This is where I am right now. It is just mounds and mounds of mess, basically. But I have a bunch of tables at the ice cream shop I'm gonna bring home so I can get like all of these shoes off of the floor. I posted the yard sale on my Facebook page this morning. I put it on like a local online, like classified thing where people can post stuff. And I have a bunch of people who've already messaged me that wanna come over tonight. But I am having a surprise visitor tonight, y'all, last night. Brecken texted me and said, Hey mom, I think I might come home this weekend, which put a big smile in my face. So she's actually driving home later today. She's going to get here just in time for dinner. So of course I'm going to cook her favorite meal for her. Um, and then she's going to help me with the yard sale this weekend. So I have a helper. But Good morning. Happy yard sale day. <laughs> Y'all, it is 630 in the morning. I just got out of bed and it is time for the yard sale. So the sun is just now starting to come up and y'all, if you live in the South, your yard sale starts promptly at 7 a.m. And if I don't have my garage door open by 7 a.m., like people are already circling my house. Let me tell you what went on here last night. The yard sale is supposed to start today, this morning, 7 a.m. Well, I got home from the ice cream shop yesterday about 4.30 and my neighbor, which is directly across the street from me, had her entire driveway packed with all of her stuff. Oh my God, I had no idea she had this much stuff. She has a tent set up, like packed. And it was packed with people. People who saw our ads, who saw the signs, were at her house shopping. And when they saw me pulling my driveway, it was on. This lady booked her booty across the street over here to my house and bought Oh my gosh, she was driving a minivan and bought a minivan packed full of stuff. She bought everything good that I had. She wiped me out. So I feel like compared to my neighbor, I'm not going to be able to do this for two days. My house is going to be empty, but let's get going. I got to get the garage door open before I start getting like mm -mm, at from the old ladies out front. All right, y'all, here we go. Y'all, look at my neighbor. Look at her stuff. Like I just do a clothes table, everything, clothes. Clothes $1, like I'm not pricing this, people just, go through clothes, got all my shoes in the floor, and people have already been in here just bags and bags full of clothes and shoes, which I love. The point is to just get it gone, and that's what's happening. I told you y'all, stuff in the driveway. I've been wiped out already, and it's like only 7.20. Bye. Bye. Somebody go to work. <laughs> Bye. I have so many more clothes too to bring out. Oh my gosh, I just realized it is eight o'clock. It's Friday. I have a video to release on my channel, y'all. I'd run and get my laptop and I'm releasing my a crock pot Italian beef video. I had this ready to go today and I completely forgot. It's eight it's actually eight. 8.09 and I'm late. My crock pot Italian beef video is now live. Shoo! Almost forgot about that, y'all. Now I remember why I don't have yard sales. Oh, after three hours, oh no, after four hours this morning from 7 to 11, I called it quits. 
I got cleaned up, I put on clothes, and I actually brushed my teeth at 11 o'clock. I had three cups of coffee at the yard sale, two muffins. It was nuts. But anyway, let me give you the tally so far. $117 Thursday night, not even meaning to. Then this morning, Friday morning, I made $264 just selling a bunch of junk. Now here's the interesting part. I told you Brecken came home for the weekend. Truth be told, she has shattered her phone. She dropped her phone, completely shattered the glass screen. So the reason I'm dressed is because I'm taking her to get the screen replaced, which is going to cost $200. All of the money that I made at the yard sale today, I'm just gonna turn around and spend it to get her phone fixed. So basically, I'm, I, I broke even. But they're still tomorrow. I am gonna open my doors at 7 a.m. tomorrow. I've got a bunch of more clothes in the attic. Um, a table, some land, some just odds and ends that I didn't actually get to today. And I might make another 100 or $200 tomorrow. And that'll be it. The dogs, let me tell you, the dogs. The dogs are exhausted. They barked for three straight hours. Well, I say they, they didn't bark. Maxie barked. Pollux just watched. Pollux was so good. <laughs> He just sat there and watched everybody. He would run around through the gate over the side and watch people. He would watch them through the window, but Maxie barked his head off for three straight hours. Pollux, can you knock it out, buddy? Come on. And I told y'all Pollux found a chihuahua in Kendall's room and look where it is. It made it to his cave in the wheat. There's the chihuahua. Right, Pollux, you was keeping it safe in your Pollux cave. <laughs> Chihuahua! Oh. So there's something else to still bark about. My neighbor is still doing her yard sale. She is still going strong. And it is one o'clock. Look at that. She got the tent and everything. Not me. I gave it up. But this is Maxie's barking spot. He can see everything. Pollux just watches. Right, Pollux, you don't have anything to say about it. But this one. This one has got a bark. Got wild hair. But anyway, I'm dressed. Brecken is doing a school assignment right now because even though she's home, she still has virtual class this morning. See? Chirp, 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 chirp all morning long. And then we're going to run out and get her phone fixed. And then I have to work tonight at the ice cream shops. But I'll see you tomorrow for day three. What we're really supposed to be day two, but turned out to be day three of the yard sale. And I'll give you my final tally of the yard sale in three days and let you know what I made, which is going to be interesting. And then I'll let you know how I spent it. Because you already know $200 is gone from Brecken's iPhone repair. Yay me. Saturday morning, 6.30 again. And time for the yard sale. Let's get this over with. Buddy, what is going on out here, boo? Oh my goodness gracious. Are you trying to bury the chihuahua in the gravel? Oh, buddy, let's not do this. Let's not do this. Come out of here, come on. Let's get him. Come on, come on. This is not a good place for him. Come on, no, 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 no. Come on, come on, let's go. Come on. I got him. He's safe, okay? Mama's got him. Look, I got him. He's all safe. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Let's put him right here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. You got dirt on your little face. Oh my God, that had to hurt your little toes, buddy. Okay, okay. All right. When you have those on Friday, yeah. people probably like, well, they had one on Friday. They probably got wiped out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It is Saturday morning, 7 a.m., and nobody is here. Like, where the heck is everybody? It turned off freezing. It's like 55 or 60 degrees. Y'all got them a hoodie. But we're out of bed. We are dragging stuff out here. This is all that's left. This is it. We got rugs clothes just this little bit of stuff that's all that's left at 11 o'clock basically i'm closing up shop whatever is not sold we're taking to goodwill 
and that'll be a yard sale. Really? Hey, really? Who were you barking at? There's nobody over here even. Maxie. Oh, dear, that squirrel. Oh, no. Oh, is he teasing you, Mooey? That one's rolling a squirrel. There's a squirrel. Look at, look at Pollux. <gasps> what was you anything. doing? I wasn't watching. He tried to get through that hole right there. Oh, Pollux. I see a squirrel. Look at him. There's we got a picture. Some games. Nobody wanted my curling irons. Uh, this is what's left of it, and I'm basically going to give it away. Anybody who wants something, take it. And y'all, how come nobody wanted my pillows? Look at the pillows. It's 10 o'clock. One more hour. I call it quits. At 11 o'clock, I'm done, y'all. I am over it. It was freezing cold this morning when we opened the garage sale and right now it's still chilly but in the sunshine it is so nice but i'm y'all are gonna laugh but i'm actually gonna go take off my hoodie put on my bathing suit and go sit out by the pool that's how i'm gonna spend the rest of my yard sale day so here's my tally guys thursday 117 friday 264 and today so far at 10 o'clock i'm at 181 so that is $562. So I'm at $562 for a lot of hard work and sweat and got rid of a lot of what I consider junk, but it's other people's treasure. Isn't that how the saying goes? One person's junk is another person's treasure. Well, hopefully that's the case. So I'm going to give this one more hour. Whatever is not sold, we're going to pack up and take to Goodwill, and then that's it. I won't have another yard sale for probably another four or five years because now I realize how much I hate having a yard sale. But I told you that I would tell you how I've spent my money. So $564 is what I've made. I took Bracken to get her phone fixed yesterday. That was $201. I went in Kirkland's and I bought some new fall decor for my dining room table. Some pumpkins, like a big um, wood sort of baskety type thing. Brecken bought a pumpkin for her dorm room and so that's kind of that that's how i spent my money thanks for coming to the yard sale y'all i hope you enjoyed a good old southern redneck yard sale this is how we do it in the south or this is how we do it in uh, western kentucky anyway you haven't made a cameo in my video <laughs> we're done right guys we are done with the yard sale oh my gosh where it's over We'll do it again in probably another five years or maybe not. I don't know. These guys had a ball. I did not have a ball. I'm hot. I got to get out of the city and I'll see you later. Right, guys?